Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Scottish song Haim 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 from the 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Now the author of this song is unknown. The earliest date that it is known from is somewhere between 1783 and 1785 in Robert Burns' Commonplace book. The author of the poem that, uh, that from the lyrics to this song is Alan Cunningham, 1784 to 1842. The poem evokes the pain of the exile who wishes to come back home to Scotland, in this case as a result of supporting the cause of the Stuart monarchs. Cunningham himself never travelled very far in his life. The longest trip he went on was to London in 1810, where he lived until his death. Cunningham was born at Caer, Dumfrieshire. His father was a neighbour of Robert Burns in Ellisland. And Haim 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 translates to home, home, home. Now, I'll teach the easy version first, and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all the elements discussed, and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full-toned effect. And I will demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and then the left hand. And then learn it hands separately and then put it hands together. Haim, haim, haim has a repeat indications. You play the whole piece through and take the first ending and then return to the middle of the piece of music and play it from that point to the end of the piece of music, taking the second ending. The piece begins with a broken three-note chord in the left hand. The lowest note of the broken three-note chord is sounded with the right hand. All music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather, I'm speaking about the music itself. In Haim Haim Haim, the melody is in the right hand, and the accompaniment is in the left hand. So make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand, now, in all music, there is a beginning and an ending and a climax point, and we will discuss each of these elements now. In music, it is a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case, the right hand notes, uh, rise in pitch from lowest notes to higher notes, that the volume will increase, and when the melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will de decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the music manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good, strong beat, and the lower note, notes are emphasized slightly as well. This causes the playing of the piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight vertardando or a slight slowing of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of Haim 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 and I'll illustrate uh, the beginning, the ending, the climax point.
Isn't that a lovely melody? It's very haunting. And I wanted to demonstrate the broken three note chord that the easy harp arrangement begins with. Hear it? The low note. Hear it? Easy harp arrangement of Haim Haim Haim. advanced version of Haim Haim Haim, broken three and four note chords have been added to the right and left hand that give a fuller and more stately sound to the piece. Haim 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 has a repeat indicator. You play the whole piece through and take the first ending and then return to the middle of the piece and play it from that point to the end of the piece, making the second ending. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight sewing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. Now, most of the broken three and four note chords in this piece of music begin, the right hand begins with the bottom note in the left hand, but they're on the fourth bar, that first four note, broken four note chord in the right hand. It begins, uh, the left hand, be the right hand begins, and the left hand comes in with the top note. I'll demonstrate this so that you can hear. Like, here's the first, the start of it. See, they're coming right in. Now, this one starts before. See how that works? I'll do it again. See how that works in the right hand on that particular one? It's the only one. The rest of them are the same. The advanced version of Haim Haim Haim.
just the solo performance version of Hame, 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 starting with the easy harp arrangement first, immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement. great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!